Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see the rules to find the approximate value using numerical integration or under this numerical integration. So, first rule I can say that Simpson's one third, in short, it is one third rule. So, what is this Simpson one third rule says? It is given by i is equal to h upon 3 bracket the formula is y naught plus y n remember the first value of y and last value of y first bracket plus 4 times second bracket so in sec 4 times in this bracket you take the values of like y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus so on so on plus next in the next bracket it is two times see we have taken y naught y n last value then y1 y3 y5 so you can see that uh, these are the odd numbers 1 3 5 so now left part is even numbers so y2 y4 plus y6 so on will come here so remember i is equal to h upon 3 y naught plus y n plus 4 times y1 y plus y3 plus y5 plus so on so plus 2 times so it is multi uh, so uh, so two times y2 plus y4 plus y6 so this is nothing but a simpson one third general formula so if if i say that if we have what here uh, uh, specifically if we have what here y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 then then i want to write a formula here as i is equal to h upon 3 so first value is y naught last value is y6 so y naught plus y6 okay so y naught plus y6 plus four times four times so uh, even uh, uh, order y1 values that is y1 y3 y5 y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus two times so this bracket belongs to odd y2 uh, even uh, y2 values or uh, y values so even y values are y2 and y6 but y6 already have taken so only what your y2 will come so in this way so we need to remember a uh, formula or rule for what here this simpson one third rule to simplify what here this numerical problems so here you remember so where where h is nothing but b minus a upon n so similarly we will go for the next rule in this uh, numerical integration so here we will see simpson 3 8 rule so what is this simpson 3 8 rule we will see so the simpson 3 8 rule it is given by i is equal to 3 h upon 8 3 8 means 3 upon 8 into h we need to multiply bracket here also first value of y that is y naught and last value of y that is y n i will take y n plus plus the so second bracket will come here as three times three times i will leave this bracket as it is plus two times so here we have to take again the values as two times so we'll take multiple of three that is y3 then next is y6 next is y9 plus so on means three six nine so multiple of three so remaining will write here 3 into remaining is what here y naught i have taken y1 will come y2 will come 
y3 is over here y4 will come plus y5 will come y6 is over plus so on here so in general so this is the formula for uh, 3 8 the rule so in this 3 8 rule we have seen it is i times 3 h upon 8 y naught plus y n first and last plus 3 times y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 plus so on plus 2 times y3 y plus y6 plus y9 plus so on here so here you can see that so multiple of 3 that is 3 6 9 will come remaining will come in the middle bracket so if if i take the y values as y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 then the formula will be written as i is equal to 3 h upon 8 y naught plus first value plus last value so first value is y naught last value is y6 plus 3 times so y1 y2 y4 y5 so y1 y2 y4 y5 we have to write it y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 plus next two times two times so just you count it y1 uh, y0 y1 y2 y3 is missing here so multiple of 3 so y3 only will come because y6 already had taken if you count all y0 to y6 is supposed to be covered in this formula so y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 so no uh, y values uh, means uh, y value should not be repeated here so in this way we need to uh, write a rule for uh, numerical integral under this uh, Simpson 3 8th rule. So, next rule we will see here now. So, next rule is Wedley's rule here. You can see. So, Wedley's rule. So, it is uh, special is for when n is equal to 6 that is multiple of 6. So, it is given by Wedley's rule is given by i is equal to that is integration a to b y dx which is nothing but 3 h upon 10 bracket bracket y naught plus 5 times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus y4 plus 5 times y5 plus y6 so this is the formula uh, for what here a uh, Wedley's rule so it is given by i is equal to 3 h upon 8 which will be Wedley's 3 upon h will come into y0 plus 5 times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus y4 plus 5 times y5 plus y6 so you remember coefficient of y0 is 1 coefficient of uh, y1 is 5 so you remember the number coefficients here 1 5 1 6 okay 1 5 1 6 you remember 1 5 1 6 next repeat 1 5 1 so next is not there if next comes we have to write, take it as out here 1 5 1 6 you have to remember the number here so if you remember 1 5 1 6 so you can uh, mul uh, multiply that coefficient to what here y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. So here I can say that. So here especially this is going to apply when n is equal to 6. So Simpson one third rule is uh, going to apply when n is equal to what here? n is equal to 2, n is equal to 4, n is equal to 8. We are going to use for what here? Simpson one third rule. For Simpson three eighth rule we are going to apply for n is equal to 3 n is equal to 6, n is equal to 9. So, multiple of uh, 3, 3 eighth rule, multiple of 2, 1 third rule and Wedley's rule when n is equal to 6. Okay. So, we will see one of the important node uh, how to simplify the problems based on these rules. So, note, first note, when we divide the interval AB into n equal parts, there will be n plus 1 values or ordinate so if you see the columns so in that columns if you count that columns it will be always n plus 1 if it is uh, uh, means if n is uh, 7 uh, 6 it will be you 
means you will get uh, seven blocks i mean seven uh, boxes you will get uh, in the table and if it is uh, uh, eight so at one extra it will be you can uh, count it so always remember when we divide the interval a b into n equal parts there will be n plus one values or ordinate values or we call it is also ordinate so we can calculate uh, sorry we can uh, conclude that if there are n plus one ordinate or values there must be n equal divisions means at that time we have to uh, take the value of n as what here one less of that so second important points uh, you concentrate here so which is very very important while solving the examples so in this second important so important to know this uh, second point so in this first one as to apply simpson one third rule n must be a multiple of 2 to apply simpson one third rule n must be what here multiple of 2 so n may be what here so n value is supposed to be what here n is equal to 2 you can apply simpson one third rule when n is equal to 4 you can apply one third rule when n is equal to 6 you can apply simpson one third rule then if n is equal to uh, 10 you can apply simpson one third rule so similarly point number two to apply simpson three eighth rule n must be a multiple of three if n is equal to three you can apply three eighth rule n is equal to six you can apply three eighth rule n is equal to nine you can apply three eighth rule when n is equal to ten you cannot apply three eighth rule you have to apply one third rule okay so multiple of two for one third multiple of three you need to go for what here three eighth rule next third uh, formula rule what we have seen to apply Wedley's rule n must be multiple of 6 n multiple multiple of 6 means what here n is equal to 6 you can go for Wedley's if n is equal to 12 directly so you have to go for Wedley's okay so like that so jump of 6 you have to go for Wedley's but see that usually if question comes apply uh, numerical integration for the given data by suitable uh, rule at that time you have to be careful your uh, I should go first uh, what is the value of n if n is equal to 6 in general if n is equal to 6 you can apply either one third rule in general if they have not mentioned that so which rule supposed to be applied if they said uh, uh, that uh, su apply suitable rule to for this numerical integration at that time if n is 6 at that time you for n is equal to 6 you can go for Simpson one third rule or 3 eighth rule or Wedley's rule because n is equal to 6 6 is a number which is multiple of 2 also 3 also 6 also so therefore i can say that when n is equal to 6 6 then all the rule can be applied to find the approximate value of the given integral so these are the few very very important and basic rule for uh, this uh, rules and uh, for the numerical integration so based on this rule and uh, uh, referring to this uh, respect to rule formulas with the note we can go for the problems